Hello, my name is Momo with Fast PPT, and we're going to get our week started with a longer format PowerPoint tutorial this time. If you're in a pinch for time, check us out on Instagram and on TikTok for some of our 30 second tutorials. But here we're going to dive a bit deeper and then also go a bit longer. Now, one of my favorite things is to see how you guys take these tutorials and make it your own. So please tag us and showcase your work. We cannot wait to see what you come up with. And last but not least, before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, shoot us a like, and share it around with some friends. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the morph transition, and we're gonna get into how the morph transition works. So let me demonstrate this using a triangle. First, we are going to insert the triangle onto the first slide. Then we're going to add a new black slide. We're gonna copy and paste it onto the second slide. And if it's placed in the same position as we did in the first slide, then when we apply the morph transition, If we did it correctly, it's not going to move. Okay, good. Now let's change the position of the triangle on the second slide. When we actually add in the morph transition here to the second slide, you're gonna see an animation where the triangle moves from its position on the first slide to now its new position on the second slide. If we move the triangle off the slide entirely, then during the slideshow, you're going to see the triangle is going to be totally removed off of the slide. This is exactly how we're going to create some of the captivating animations that we get into. It's uh, using this transition. So now let's make this stunning morph transition slide together. Let's start by arranging all of our pictures as, as shown here. Then we're going to use control A that's gonna allow us to select all pictures. Then we're gonna hit right click, and then we're gonna be able to group them. So now we're going to center the first image on slide one. Then we're gonna to go to shapes. We're going to add an oval shape. We're going to fill that shape with white, and then we're going to remove the outline entirely. Make sure that it's covering the upper half of the slide like so. Then we're going to duplicate the oval shape using control D and position the second oval shape to cover the bottom half of the slide. And then next we're going to duplicate the slide. Now on slide two, we're going to move the grouped image horizontally and then we're gonna center the second image. We're gonna duplicate slide two to create the third slide. And again, we're going to move the grouped image horizontally and then center the third image. You'll notice a common theme. We're gonna repeat this process for the remaining pictures. And if you have seven images, like in my case here, we'll need seven slides. This way, each image will appear once. So once you've completed all the slides, I want you to right click on any slide and select the select all option. This is going to allow us to select all slides with just one click. Then we're gonna go into the transition tab and choose morph. That's it, that's all for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this deeper dive tutorial. And I hope that you're gonna be able to use the morph transition to create engaging presentations for whatever your next project may be. Please don't forget to subscribe. We love making this content for you and we will post more step-by-step -step tutorials very, very soon.